Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob, aka The Diligent Dev, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at how you can build a chatbot with AWS Amplify and Vue.js with minimal lines of code on your end. Now, just because it has minimal lines of code doesn't mean it's not gonna be powerful. It's actually gonna be harnessing the exact same technology that powers the Amazon Alexa. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and get right into it. Okay, so here we are over the computer and the first thing you're gonna to need to do is head over to aws.amazon.com and go ahead and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. Next, we're going to install the AWS Amplify CLI. So I've gone ahead and opened up a new terminal and we're gonna run the following command, npm i-g for global at aws-amplify slash cli. Now, if you're on a Mac, you'll probably have to put sudo in front of this and type in your password since we're installing something globally. But on a Windows machine, you should just be able to go ahead and install this. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna do that. Go ahead and pause the video here, install the CLI, and then come back when you're finished. And once you have the CLI installed, let's go ahead and create our view app. So I'm gonna run npx view creates aws amplify chatbot. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the default. And once this is done creating our project, I will be right back. And now that the project's been created, I've gone ahead and opened it in Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever code editor you'd like, but if you wanna follow along, I'd recommend that you download and install Visual Studio Code. Now the first thing we're gonna do is open up a new terminal. So I'll go to terminal, new terminal, and we're gonna run the following command, amplify, configure. And what this is gonna do is set up a account on AWS that will allow us to interface with their services and allow the Amplify CLI to create those services for us. So it said that it wants us to sign into our administrator account and I've already signed into AWS so it has it cached and it'll go ahead and open up this window for you. And it's saying that once you're signed in, go ahead and come back here and hit enter to continue. We're gonna choose a region. I'm just gonna choose US East one, specify a username. I'm just gonna say diligent dev chatbots user, and you can do whatever you want here. It's gonna go ahead and open up the IM console. I'm just gonna go ahead and pin this window here because we're going to be using it a lot. And now that that's open, it's saying to complete the user creation. So what you wanna do when you're in here is just make sure that this programmatic access checkbox is checked. It should be by default. Go to next for permissions. Make sure that administrator access is checked and it should be by default. We're not gonna add any tags, and we're just gonna go ahead and create the user. Now that the user has been created, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. It's gonna give us this access key ID and a secret access key. So what I'm gonna do is copy this, head back over to our terminal and hit enter. It's gonna access ask us for the access key, and we're just gonna go ahead and paste it in there and hit enter, and then it's gonna ask us for the secret access. So I'm gonna hit show, I'm going to copy it, come back over here and paste it in and hit enter. It's asking us if we want to update slash create the AWS profile in our local machine. And you're gonna set a profile name and I'll just set diligent dev chatbot for that as well. And it successfully set up the new user. So now we're done with that. The next thing we need to do is run amplify init and I'm gonna clear out the terminal and just run amplify and it's, it's asking us to enter a name for the project. I'm just going to hit enter for default, asking us for the environment. I'm gonna hit enter for dev. Uh, what is the default editor? We're in Visual Studio Code, or if you're in another one, you can choose that. It's asking us what type of project is JavaScript, which framework we're using, we're using Vue, and all these you can just hit enter for the default because these are the Vue defaults. It's asking us if we wanna use an AWS profile. I'm going to hit yes. And we're gonna go down and choose that diligent dev chatbot profile we chose earlier. And once this is done initializing in the cloud, I will be right back. Okay, now that Amplify has initialized our project in the cloud, let's go ahead and start adding resources to it. So we're gonna come back down here into the terminal and we're gonna run the following command. Amplify, add interactions. 
We're just going to hit enter for the default for the resource. We're going to start with a sample. We'll do order flowers. And it's going to ask us if we're going to be targeting children with this bot. We're just going to hit N for no. And it's going to say that it was successfully added to our resources. The next thing we're going to do is run another command called amplify push. And this is going to go ahead and set up our bot inside of our amplify project in AWS. So I'll just hit enter there. And next is going to give us a little summary of what it's going to set up in the cloud. So I'm just going to hit Y for yes. And then once this is all set up, I will be right back. Okay, so now our bot has been provisioned on AWS. So what we're gonna do is come back down to the terminal and we're gonna run the following command, amplify console. And what this is gonna do is open a new web page, and it's gonna display our amplify console. Now you'll see that it shows us some little information about uh, the bot we just deployed, but unfortunately we can't get to our actual bot from this page. So what we need to do is come to the services tab and type in Lex into the search bar. We're gonna click on that. And then we'll see that we have our bot right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And now let's walk through exactly what is going on here. So this is going to use the same natural language processing that an Alexa would use to try to figure out exactly what our users are saying. So we have some sample utterances here and the user does not have to say this exactly. As long as they say something like this, the bot will recognize exactly what they want. So if someone was to come to our bot and say, I would like to pick up flowers or I would like to order some flowers or something along those lines, then it's going to kick off our chatbot process. When the bot is initialized, you can fire off a Lambda function, but we're not going to do that for the purposes of this demo. Next, we have slots down here, and this is the sequence of questions that our bot is going to ask our end user in a conversational style. You'll see that the first one is they're gonna ask what type of flowers, the second they're gonna ask for a pickup date, and the third they're gonna ask for a pickup time. Now you'll see our flower type here is going to be displayed on the pickup date and also in the pickup time. Now we have these different slots, and think of the name as your variable. Well, let's go through this. First, we have the priority over here, and this is the sequence in which the questions are gonna be answered. You can move them up and down with these little arrows. Then we have required, and it's going to be whether or not this is a required field. Next is name, and think of these as like the variable types that are going to be passed back to you when a user is done interacting with the bot. Next, we have the slot types. And you'll see that we have this flower types, which is a custom type that, that uh, Amplify has gone ahead and set up for us. And we see we have it over here. So if we click on it, you'll see that we have uh, expanded values and there's three different options that a user could choose from and you'd wanna put your options in here. So let's go back, that's a custom slot. And then you'll see we have pickup date and pickup time and these are provided by Amazon and you'll see they have a ton of them in here. Um, you could go ahead and check these out, but an Amazon.date would be the date and the time would be um, the pickup time that the user would want. And these are the prompts that are gonna be asked when, they, when we want to capture this data. Next down here, we have our confirmation prompt and it'll say something like, okay, your flower type, which they have picked up here, will be ready for pickup by this pickup time that they specified here. Uh, the pickup date that they specified here, does this sound okay? And the user will say something like yes, no, sure, uh, something along those lines to let the bot know that they can confirm the order that is being placed. If they say no, then this is the response that's going to come back. Now, once the confirmation prompt has been answered, there's a couple different things we could do here. We can uh, use a Lambda function to process the order, or we can just return the parameters to the client, which I'm going to do. And then we have a response that we can put in here. So let's go ahead and add a message and we'll say something like, thank you, oh, thank you. Your order has been placed successfully. And we're just going to hit enter. And once it's all said and done, that is the last thing that the user will see. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. We're going to build the bot. And it does take a second to build, 
Um, and once it's done building, I will be right back. So as we can see here on the screen, the bot was built successfully. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this. And before you even leave this page, you can just go ahead and test your bot. So we're gonna test it over here. And I'm just gonna say, I would like to order some flowers. It's gonna ask us what type of flowers. I'm gonna say roses, which is in our custom flower type slot. It's gonna say, what day do you want the roses to be picked up? We'll just say tomorrow. At what time do you want the roses to be picked up? And as we're filling these out, you'll see that these slots are being filled in. We'll just say 9 a.m. It's gonna say, okay, your roses will be ready by nine on, that, on tomorrow's date. Does this sound okay? We'll just hit yes. And it'll say, thank you, your order has been placed successfully. And it gives us a summary of what we've chosen. But what we're interested in is actually getting this bot into our view project. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And in the terminal, we're going to run the following command. npm i aws dash amplify aws dash amplify dash view and hit enter. And once this is done installing these dependencies, I will be right back. Okay, so our package is installed successfully, and what we're gonna do is set up Vue to go ahead and use those packages we just installed. So let's head to src main.js, and up here at the top, we're going to say import amplify comma star as amplify modules from aws dash amplify. Under that, we're going to say imports, give some curly brackets, amplify plugin from AWS, amplify view. And then we're going to import AWS config from dot forward slash AWS exports. Right below that, we're gonna say, Amplify configure and pass in AWS config. And then we're going to say view dot use amplify plugin, comma amplify modules. And we're going to go ahead and save that. Next, we're gonna head over to app.view and inside of this app div, we're going to go ahead and remove everything. I'll remove the hello world inputs and remove the components property. Now, fortunately for us, Amplify gives us a view component called Amplify Chatbot that we can just plug and play inside of our application. So we're going to say Amplify dash chatbot. And we'll go ahead and close that. Now this chatbot is going to take a config. It's going to be V binded to it. So we'll say chatbot config, and we'll set that equal to chatbot config. Down here in export default, we will add a data property. And inside of it, we will do our chatbot config. And inside of that, we're going to give it a bot property and set it equal to our bot in the AWS console. So let's go ahead and head back there and see what our bot name is. If we go back and reload, go find Lex again. We can see that the name of our bot is order flowers underscore dev. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that and head back to our project and paste it in there. Now, instead of the bot closing on the completion of an order, we don't want it to do that. We want it to display that message saying, thank you for your order. So we'll do clear completes property and set that equal to false. Now, in order to see the actual values that the bot has captured, we need to import a package from AWS Amplify here at the top of the script tag. So we'll say import curly brackets interactions from AWS dash Amplify. Then below our data property, we will make a methods property. 
and we will call this handle complete. We will pass in an error if there is any and confirmation. Inside of here, we'll say if there is an error, we'll just alert the error and return. If there's no error, we'll just alert the confirmation. We'll do json.stringify confirmation. We'll go ahead and save that. And then we're going to need to register our interaction. So right above the method, we'll do a mounted. This is a lifecycle hook provided to us by view when the component is mounted to the screen. And all we're gonna do is say interactions.component complete or on complete and we're going to pass it the name of our bot which is this order flowers dev and then we'll bind that to our handle complete function so we'll say this dot handle complete so let's go ahead and save everything we'll go down to the console and we'll run npm run serve to get a development server up and running Now that it's up and running, we'll just go ahead and click on the local host. I will pull it over and we see we have our chatbot here in the screen. So it says to type a message. So we'll go through the workflow of our chatbot. I would, or let's do something a little bit different. I'd like to order flowers. What type of flowers do we wanna order? We'll say roses again. When do we want them to be picked up? We'll say today. What time do we want them? We'll just say like 8 p.m. And it'll say, okay, your roses will be ready for pickup. Um, this is eight o'clock in military time for today. Does this sound okay? And we'll just say yes. And then it's gonna give us exactly what our inputs were. We see we have our flower type of roses, the pickup date of today, and the pickup time. Pickup time's a little bit cut off, but it is 20. We'll hit okay. And you'll see that we have our message of thank you, your order has been placed successfully. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this tutorial. As you can see, it's super easy to implement a chatbot with AWS Amplify. If you got any value out of this video, please smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and encourages me to make more videos like this. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, happy coding.